last couple of visits we've talked about influence and most of that has been negative influence uh, talking about what we might be uh, invited or encouraged to do that we know isn't right uh, and possibly can lead to some pretty dire consequences. Let's talk this time about positive influence in our lives, the kinds of things that are almost um, you know, the things that dreams are made of. Uh, how do we go about fulfilling our ambitions, our hopes, our wishes, our desires, uh, sometimes with encouragement, hopefully so. That's positive influence. It doesn't always work that way. It can work both ways. We can be told that our ideas are stupid, uh, that our head is in the clouds too high, and that there's no way we're going to achieve those things that we wish. This is where our belief in ourselves and our deed, our faith journey, can help us a great deal. Uh, and those who love us, who will give us the positive encouragement we need to pursue uh, our dreams. This may be occupational, uh, maybe it's educational, uh, and maybe it's a relationship. Uh, maybe we've been through a difficult breakup uh, and we feel that we're unlovable or unwilling to take the risk of loving again. Uh, others might tell us uh, that we're better off alone. Hopefully no one does that, but it can happen. On the positive side though, there's that yearning, that desire within our hearts to pursue that dream. Again, whether it's taking a chance on love, uh, getting back into school to achieve an educational goal, or making a career change uh, based on what we really hope to accomplish in our lives on that plane, on our career plane. Uh, that inner voice is extremely important and it's, a, it's, it's worth listening to at every phase of your life. What have you done perhaps that has been disappointing, that's been a failure, uh, not just in relationships, but maybe uh, a, a business opportunity that we took uh, and failed at? Uh, can that be discouraging? Yes, uh, probably without doubt it can be, uh, but it can also be an opportunity for us to grow, to learn from that experience and to avoid making the same mistakes the same time. On the negative side, it can keep us from taking that chance. Yes, prudence and caution are called for, especially when uh, substantial financial risk might be involved. But um, we can take those risks uh, if we're willing to trust ourselves uh, to learn from our past and to, uh, you know, to, uh, to strive uh, to steer a, a safer course the second time. I think the tragedy is uh, if we decide never uh, to pursue what we want and are always satisfied with second or third best because others again have told us that's the path we should be following. Sometimes frankly parents can do that to their kids, uh, maybe with the best of intentions, but it still has the very serious uh, uh, effect of uh, of diminishing a person from, uh, from the potential that they uh, harbor within. Um, and, and that becomes then, it's a tough call, I'll grant you this. And if you're struggling with this, uh, think about it, pray about it, seek counsel of people that you trust in trying to decide if a decision is worth making one direction or another, if a risk is worth taking. Uh, and then ultimately you do have to make the, your mind up for yourself. You do this early enough in life and it doesn't work out well, by golly, you pick yourself up and you try again. Uh, even if you're later in life, there really is never any time for us to abandon our growing edge. Seek it always, learn from mistakes, uh, enjoy successes, and encourage others along the path uh, that you can tell they need based on what you hear from them. Uh, if you counsel somebody else, always do it with the motivation of their interests, not yours, and take genuine pride in their accomplishments if that's your role uh, in this game. If you're on the recipient side, if you're struggling with decisions, again, seek, uh, seek counsel from those that you can trust. Pray about it. The voice of God is very real if you listen hard enough for it. Sometimes it's easily uh, um, drown, drowned out by naysayers, uh, by a secular society that has its own reasons for wanting you to go one way or the other. Yes, listen to all the inputs, 
But ultimately, it is your call, and you're in the best position possible to establish the proper course for your own life. Thanks.